Welcome to all you Capricorns. This is your monthly horoscope for November of 2020. There's happening a lot again. There's happening a lot. Eclipses are happening. Jupiter Pluto conjunction. Mars going direct again. And Mercury going direct again. What not? But anyways, let's get started with the eclipses. Now, the eclipses are not that important for you because they're not in key areas of your life. This is um, a lunar eclipse at the very end of the month on the 30th of November. And it is an eclipse that belongs to the Saros cycle for South. It has to do with relationships, it has to do with strong emotions, fated relationships. Um, it's quite intense. But again, for you, dear Capricorns, it's more on a level of your day-to-day -day work. It's not really, um, it could be relationships that has to do with work that are going to be a bit more important for you. But um, it's the moon in Gemini with the North Node in the sixth house. So this is all about new uh, things that reveal itself that you feel that you are going forwards when it comes to work or health or end, work and health. So, um, and you're going to have a lot of eclipses there um, also next year and, and even next month in December on the 14th. But what it reveals is that you're going to find new ways of um, to structure your life to make your routines work out for you on a very witty, enjoyable um, a way because it's in Gemini after all. So for those of you who've been looking for work or a job, this could mean a new job. This could mean a new work. This could mean a new beginning when it comes to your routines and your health. And um, it's, it's really stimulating you to become healthier. It's really stimulating you to go away from old bad habits that especially um, when you want to escape from life because that's the 12th house where the south node is. Now, as I said, what is more important for you is the Mars going direct. On the 15th of November, finally, finally, Mars goes direct in your fourth house. That could have been very stressful, especially if you have a Capricorn rising. Having Mars in the fourth house, it means Mars is energy, Mars is a lot of activity. The fourth house is where you're supposed to um, relax, you know, home. Um, so, but with this Mars going direct on the 15th, in combination with the new moon in Scorpio, in your fifth house of self-expression, the heart chakra, children, romance, it can mean that at the same time, around that same timing, when things go forward on an emotional level, you feeling stronger than ever, you feeling on an emotional level, not so much restricted by yourself, um, because this Mars was bumping into Pluto and Saturn in your sign. So you were the one that restricted yourself, consciously or unconsciously, probably consciously. But um, the thing is that things can go forward now um, with uh, around about the 15th of November and onwards. Project that has to do with buying, selling houses. Project that has to do with work from home. Maybe you tried to do that, but it was like, uh, it didn't work out. And now things are going a tiny little bit more, having more momentum there. It's not all over yet with the stress because Mars next month in December is still going to bump into Pluto. So there's still some fears, there's still, still some transformation that needs to be made. But whatever it is, whatever the new thing that you want to do, considering your home life, considering maybe work from home, considering um, renovations and whatnot, it could mean that even it goes so slow for you, um, you're getting somewhere now now and you're seeing that around the midst of november and onwards that um yes there can be still some restrictions some fears some uh, but you're persevering that is actually the message you know if you really want to make some new changes considering home family uh, you can do it absolutely there can come out some really good results there but that's more for uh december time when this is um this uh, aspect between Mars and Pluto is over. So still a lot to come there, uh, but also still a lot to look forward to because Jupiter and Pluto are going to conjoin on the 12th of November in your sign. This is like secrets revealing itself. 
about yourself. This is like you showing your true self, your raw self, your authentic self. And because of that, it's going to empower you and also your relationships. So when it comes to relationships, there could be really revelations there, but it's because of you. You, it's because of you show who you truly are. There's no hiding anymore. Uh, if it, if there has been hiding with the Jupiter and the Pluto, it's like this transformation. It's like this, this, um, revealing of the true modus of, of you and that's going to liberate you in a way so that is also something very positive the thing that is a bit lighter but very very gentle is um well gentle but intense at the same time is in the axis of your fifth and eleventh house friendships and love um can really um have this very transformational effect as well and also these revelations because you're having this mercury there um for the third time now so it's going retrograde it, it's been going retrograde it's been bumping into uranus in your fifth house in an opposition for three times 7th of october 20th of october and now the last time um will be around and about the last time that mercury is gonna touch Uranus. When is that going to be, Virla? Why is it taking so long for me? Yes, in the 17th of November. So around when Mars goes direct, there's some revelations at the same time going on with friends, with uh, aspirations, with goals for the future. So for a lot of you, this means that, yes, this, is, this was a, a piece of the puzzle that you were missing. Now you know where you're heading at. You're having these new ideas for new goals, new aspirations. And when Venus will be also in your 11th house on the 21st, it's fantastic for socializing, networking, um, money that you gain from your own company. If you have your own company, because the 11th house is also a financial house, if you have your own company, second house from the 10th house, that is. Um, but when it's not on a financial level, it's certainly... There's something brewing there when it comes to friendships. There could be one friend revealing something to you. And it's scorpionic, so it, 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 it was hidden. And it's transformative. It changes everything. It's like an aha moment. Are you revealing something to them? But whatever it is, let's say, for instance, you had a friend, you're single. This could mean like this friendship becomes more uh, of just a friendship. It's, it's turning into a romance with Mercury there and Venus there and opposing Uranus and all ha happens out of the blue because of these revelations. Um, so this, this is very exciting for, of course, when you are single. Um, and um, But it can also happen when you're not single, right? You know, when you're not single, someone can reveal to you that they have a crush on you or you having a crush on someone else. It's, it's all possible, but whatever it is, it is about something that transforms. It is about freeing up energy. And now you know where you stand with that friend. It doesn't always have to be romance. It can also mean that a friend, there is some revelations around that person that you didn't know that was happening behind the scenes. And now you understand them better. And therefore the relationship deepens, strengthens, or you're saying, I can't deal with that, you know, is that what this person is all about or, or um, you know, it, it depends on, on your context, of course. So very interesting indeed this month with a bit of everything, you know, changes when it comes to home, family, uh, work uh, from home. And there could be a new job as well with this uh, eclipse. Also a bit of romance there for sure. And um, we've got it all there in that month for you. Thank you so much for uh, listening, dear Capricorns. Have a very good month. Bye-bye.